Hello everyone, and although it is Saturday Vlogmas Day 7, I'm welcoming you to Vlogmas Day 9. Like I've said in the last couple vlogs, I would be unable to vlog on Monday, so I wanted to answer a request that so many of you have asked for, and that is a 2019 holiday gift guide. So that is exactly what I'm bringing to you today. I have a wide variety of gifts from a wide variety of price points. They will all be linked down below for your convenience, and this is early enough in Vlogmas for you to get your shopping done. If you've been following Vlogmas this year, you know that Mondays are motivational Mondays, so let this video motivate you to get your shopping done early so you can do what's most important about the season, and that is spend time with friends and family. So without further ado, we're going to jump straight in to my 2019 holiday gift guide. Before I start showing you the gifts, I wanna be really clear, if you're a friend or a family member, you should probably turn this off because these are truly gifts that I'm giving this year and they're based off of things that I love. So friends, family, this is your warning. You will probably be receiving some of these gifts. So go ahead and turn it off. Go ahead. Don't be such a snooper. Although I was a snooper as a kid. The first set of gifts are for those coffee and tea lovers. We all have them in our families. So I have a couple gifts from a couple different price points that will be perfect for those people. The first I wanna share with you is the Ember Mug. If you've watched this channel, you know that I've had one for quite some time. I am actually gifting one of these this year as well. I know that some people have had some issues with the saucer or the cups. I've had mine now for a couple, maybe two years. I've had zero problems with mine. It is going strong, the app works perfectly, and it still holds the same amount of charge it did on day one. I do wanna be honest with you, it only holds about eight ounces of coffee. It is just such a really cool tech gift. What I really love about this mug is when I'm getting ready in the morning, it keeps my coffee warm and those couple hours of getting ready. That's what I really use this for. It's also really handy for someone in the office because if they're like me, they end up heating up their cup of coffee multiple times. I love the Ember mug. It comes in this, it comes in black. I also think there's like a very fancy limited copper or gold version. And there are also travel mugs. I feel like it's something you typically won't buy yourself, but given as a gift, it's really special. If you don't wanna go the Ember price point, my next favorite discovery, and I discovered this from one of my friends, is the Yeti coffee mug. This is mine personally, but I am giving it away as well. Um, this is the Yeti coffee mug. It has a stopper lid, um, but you have to buy this extra lid. It's like $10. It just comes with like a regular travel mug lid, but this keeps your coffee hot literally for hours. I love Yeti. It's a great brand. It is a super solid product, but it's a much friendlier price point than the Ember mug, but it comes in an array of colors. so You can personalize it to people and I just think it makes a really, really great gift. Lastly, for the tea drinkers, this is one of my favorite things, and I believe everyone should have a tea set. I happen to have two, but this is one of my favorites, and pardon me, but the, the kettle lid is in the dishwasher. But this is a tea set from Anthropology, and what's great is it's stackable, so it doesn't take up a ton of space, but you have your teapot, and it says tea for two, along with two teacups. I just think this is such a cool gift for all of those tea lovers, and who doesn't want a really cute tea set? Once again, it stacks up, it's really well made, the glasses are nice and heavy, I steep my tea in here. Nothing makes time with a good book feel really special than having a little matching tea set. And I also love that this one matches but doesn't match. It's kind of a cool play on something retro and collected. Anthropology is the place to go for these really cute tea sets and I know people will love them. Next is one of my most recent favorite finds and I think they're having a real moment of popularity but that would be a weighted blanket. I recently purchased mine on Cyber Monday from Amazon. It is this beautiful 20 pound gray nubby minky blanket. It is so soft, it is so warm, but what I love about it the most is the benefit of the weight. So if you're feeling stressed or anxious or anything, it just helps calm and center you 
I really enjoyed it. I've used it almost every single night since I received it. And it's just a really, really great gift. I think for college kids and for teenagers, but also adults in your life, I think people will appreciate this. And I think once again, sometimes it's something you will not buy yourself. I think it's a really purposeful and thoughtful gift and I am giving some weighted blankets away this year. I am not big on buying people clothes. I believe there's something very personal about clothes. People's tastes are very different and what you think is great, other people may not. So I believe in gifting people accessories because I feel if you go with a high quality accessory, people will love it. One thing I love to give and I think I've gifted at least a couple every Christmas are robes and slippers. I feel you can't go wrong with gifting someone a really high quality robe or high quality slippers. My favorite slippers of all time are the Ugg slippers. I have bought them um, off of Nordstrom and also you can get them on Amazon, sometimes at a really reasonable price point. But these chestnut Ugg slippers with the wool inside. They are the most amazing slippers I have ever owned. I wear them every single day without fail. They travel with me and I simply love them. If I got these as a gift, I would be in my glory. And these are just an awesome, awesome luxury feeling gift. And if you were going to buy someone a robe, there's only one place to go because they will go on sale quite frequently throughout this time of year. And that is Pottery Barn. And this year they have these teddy robes. I got this one in tobacco when it first launched. Um, I've already bought a couple also as gifts when they went on sale. And it is the softest, zhuzhiest, bulkiest, coziest robe. If you gift this to someone, they are going to love it and wear it and they are going to think of you every single time because it's just a spectacular gift. They are typically around 50 to $70, um, but oftentimes they'll be marked down, especially this time of year, because many people will be gifting them. But robes, slippers, a good book, you cannot go wrong with that. Two other accessories that I have recently fallen in love with and am gifting is one, a really, really nice high quality beanie. So this one is from The North Face. It is a really light whitish gray um, with the black charcoal The North Face logo. This is a really nice high quality hat. It's super warm, it's super comfortable, and just the knit is really tight and you can tell how well made it is. Really nice quality. They range anywhere between 30 and $50, but a North Face knit cap is a great gift. This is the softest scarf on the planet. I think it was $49, $50, but the quality of this scarf is just spectacular. It does leave off some fuzz, but I think it's just because I need to throw it in the washer and dryer for a round um, to help get rid of that. But this scarf is so soft, it's so warm. It's also blanket style, so it's really, really large. Um, for me, I'm tall, so a really big, long scarf is really helpful. But these Anthropology scarves are such a high quality. They come beautiful, like really rich, vibrant colors. And the instant you touch this scarf, you can tell how luxurious and special it is. And I always say, do not buy people clothes, buy them accessories. They will love them more and they will use them more. This would not be a Christopher gift guide without gifting books. I believe reading is one of the greatest gifts you can give people. But to be completely honest, the only fiction book that I have really gifted to people is The Underground Railroad. If you followed this channel for any length of time, you know that I've given that book away countless times. Like I honestly can't keep track. So typically when I give books, I typically give nonfiction books around things that I know people love or would be interested in. And I have four nonfiction books that I am gifting this holiday season to people. They are also books that I all personally own, but they connect with different people for different reasons. The first book that I'm gifting this holiday season is Amy Song's World of Style. This is going out to all my fashionista friends. This is just an exquisitely photographed book. The writing is so well done. 
and it's just a book that you will always reach for. I've taken mine on vacations. Um, I have flipped through it countless times. It's just a really, really nice read and highly recommend it for all those fashionistas in your life. The next book that I'm gifting to I think three people is The Home Edit. This is by Klee Shearer and Joanna Templin, and it's a guide to organizing and realizing your house goals. They also have an amazing Instagram. They are like the organizers to the stars. And on Instagram, they're always flying to a new location to organize. This breaks every component of someone's house down by category and tells them exactly how to organize it from their laundry room to their closets, to their kitchens, to their family rooms, to their pantries. It's such a cool gift and it even comes with its own set of labels in the end for them to use. Just a great gift for all your home bodies and homemakers and people who are buying new homes. This would also make an amazing hostess gift or a housewarming gift with like a really good bottle of wine. The next book is more of an autobiography, but I have people in my life who will love this. And I read this book and absolutely loved it. It is called Homework by Julie Andrews. This is truly about her time in Hollywood. So she wrote one that was more about her home life. This one is truly about all of her work. I think it opens up with her landing the role of Mary Poppins. And it's just a phenomenally written book. It's so entertaining. It's so insightful. She is incredible. And this is just an awesome book to give to people, especially if you know they're Julie Andrews fans. Which, honestly, who isn't a Julie Andrews fan? Like, who doesn't love her? Sound of Music, Mary Poppins, like... You can't go wrong. Lastly, the book that I will continue to gift is Becoming by Michelle Obama. And this year I'm gifting it with the journal that also goes along with it that was just released in November. This is one of the most beautifully written books. Even Stephen absolutely loved it. I've listened to it on audiobook. Just hearing her read it is really special. And I've also read my own personal copy. But pairing this with the Becoming Journal I think is a great, great gift. I also think a great gift is candles. And particularly my favorite scent this holiday season is the Nest Holiday Candle. It's also in just a beautiful, beautiful vessel. This will make such a beautiful container when it's done. I can imagine this being like filled with flowers. Now, this one is not reasonably priced, being completely honest with you, but you can get this in multiple sizes at multiple price points. This one is not budget friendly. However, the smaller ones very much are. I think you can land a good size one for around $30 to $40. And it's just a beautiful hostess gift or Christmas gift for people who love candles. And I particularly love this holiday scent. I feel like it embodies the holidays. If you're going to buy them a candle, you should definitely gift them a set of really nice matches, and I'm going to share my favorite. I love matches, and particularly these from Scheme. These matches are really, really just a beautiful piece to add to your coffee table. There's a cork on the bottom, and then you can get your matches out, and then the striker is right here on the glass vessel to just have this paired with a really beautiful candle makes such a nice gift. And like I said, it's just something that is more than just matches. It's like an architectural decorative piece to anyone's home decor. And I just think they're stunning. They come in like a variety of tinted colors too, so you can personalize it that way. I also love to gift advent calendars. My nieces received theirs over Thanksgiving. My um, older nieces got the body shop. My younger niece, Maggie, loves tea. So she has the David's Tea Advent Calendar. It's like the gift that keeps on giving through December. But one of my favorites that I'm gifting to several people this year in my life is one that only takes a week so you can hold on to it a little longer and I think the week of Christmas everyone needs a little self-care and it is this beautiful one put together by Anthropology. It is a seven-day self-care advent calendar and it's just really beautifully written. Each day has a really special self-care message along with a self-care product for people to pamper themselves for a full week. I think this is a really nice advent calendar to give. You can also look into some 12 days, some seven days, and there are even some five and three day advent calendars. Um, just research them, but this is my favorite. This is one that's going to so many people this year, and it is that seven days of self-care, which everyone could use around the holidays. And the last gift I wanna share is giving someone a taste of luxury at a comfortable price point. 
One thing that I think if you want to give the gift of luxury, I would go at entry level and gift really nice high end card holders to people or keychains. I love a six key holder, but I think one of the best entry level pieces of luxury you could give someone is the Louis Vuitton key clay. I use this thing religiously. It is currently on my keys. I can throw my cards in here and just take this when I want to. I think it is a great way to give luxury at a really good price point, but the other way you can do that is through card holders. So I have a few luxury card holders here. This one is the Quilted from Chanel. I have a Goyard, and I also have the um, Yves Saint Laurent five card slot. This actually takes the cake for all of them because it also has a zipper top where you can put cash and cards and change in and then holds your five cards. This is the one I go to when I'm traveling and it comes in an array of colors. I also have a Louis Vuitton card holder and I just think it's a great way to give someone luxury at a price point that you're comfortable with and it also still feels really special. I reach for my card holders all the time, especially when I don't want to be carrying like a bulkier wallet around and I think they make for really great gifts and oftentimes card holders are where designers really explore the most color options so you can actually really personalize it to people. So giving the gift of luxury that is personalized to their taste at a really comfortable price point for luxury not always a comfortable price point, but for a luxury good, it is. So that is my 2019 holiday gift guide. I hope you enjoyed it. And tomorrow Vlogmas will pick back up again with the whole family back intact. I will leave this like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.